Okay, children. Now, Grandma is going to get a little bit more in-depth and give you the spiritual application on each card. Remember, this one was A says A ah, in Adam. <clears throat> Adam and Eve were created in God's image without sin. They had such beautiful times every day as they walked and talked with the Lord in the cool of the evening. And God gave Adam and Eve many privileges to enjoy, but he also gave them a stern warning. Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, or for in the day that you eat thereof, you shall surely die. That's in Genesis 2, 16 through 17. One day, Adam disobeyed God and ate the fruit. How sad! Sin entered into the world, and Adam and Eve lost their beautiful fellowship with their creator. They also lost their wonderful home. To prevent them from eating of the tree of life, and thereby living forever in sin, the Lord God sent them away from the Garden of Eden. This is the picture of them being sent away. Ever since Adam's sin, everyone born into this world, except for Jesus, has had a heart that naturally wants to do wrong. God says that each of us is in Adam. All who remain in Adam will be forever separated from God. But the good news is that he promised Adam and Eve that someday he would send a savior so that their sin and ours could be justly forgiven. He kept his promise when he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross to pay the wages of penalty, the wages or penalty for sin. Romans 6, 23. If you believe in Christ with all your heart, God will give your sins will forgive your sins and give you eternal life in him. You will then no longer be in Adam, but in Christ. And you can then enjoy wonderful fellowship with your maker forever and ever. What a precious promise. A says at in Adam. To remain in Adam, all will die. But in Christ, eternal life is nigh. Hello children, let's talk a little bit about the E card today. E says, eh, in empty. Christ's empty tomb is victory's cry. Death's sting is gone when his chosen die. Christ's empty tomb was proof that God the Father had accepted his son's substitutionary death on the cross as full payment for the believer's sin debt. God was satisfied. The sting of death is sin, but that sting no longer exists for the person who genuinely trusts in Christ our Savior and Lord. Sin that has then has no more power over the child of God. If you are a true Christian, you can always look forward to victory over sin through Christ Jesus. Do you see the empty tomb there? E says E eh, in empty. Now let's talk about the I card. I says I in image. No graven image thou shalt make. The Lord is one. Do not forsake. Without Christ, man's heart is naturally in rebellion against God. Some people rebel by worshiping actual idols, like we see pictured on this card. You see the idol? like a golden calf. But many others worship nature. Another person, maybe movie or political idols, material possession, possessions like TVs, cars, boats, houses, clothes, Game Boys, Nintendos, or even their job. Anyone or anything that is given higher importance than God can be considered an image or an idol. Everything that displeases the Lord should therefore be avoided so that he gets his rightful first place in our lives. For God wants us to always worship him in spirit and in truth. John 4, 23. I says, I in image. 
O says ah in omnipotent. Creation declares his omnipotent power from the mighty mountains to the tiny flower. Scripture says the Lord God om omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. Revelation 19, 6 through 7. The word omnipotent, well, it's a big word, means all powerful or God can do anything except sin. Our Lord tells us that his eternal power and Godhead can be clearly seen and understood through creation. Romans 1, 20. Nothing is ever too great or too small to capture our awesome God's attention. I pray that you will ask our almighty creator to give you the desire to love and serve him as he so rightly deserves. O says ah in omnipotent. The last one, U says ah in unequal. Christian beware of an unequal yoke with those who are an unbelieving folk. The picture on this card shows what would happen if someone tried to put an ox and a donkey together under the same yoke. It just wouldn't work because of their unequal size and strength. Thus, these animals could never function well as a team. For a similar reason, Christians are not to be yoked together with someone who doesn't believe in God. This association can never work well because believers and unbelievers have different life goals. One will normally long to serve Christ while the other will desire to serve self in the world. And God says that friendship with the world is enmity or hatred against him. James 4.4 4. There can be no in-betweenness. If you want to be strong in Christ, you should choose the right kind of friends who also share your desire to do things God's way. You says ah in unequal. This is Grandma Carla. I love you.